Let's turn all of this into Welcome back everybody. If you watched my live video I did on boning out hams, you would have seen that I had a whole bunch of beautiful lean pork trim. And today we're going to use this trim plus some skinless bellies and make some uh, maple bourbon breakfast sausages. So let's go. The first step is to grind all this stuff. And I don't know the exact weight of this, so what I'm going to do first is just grind all the, the meat and then I know I'm gonna use 60% of this in the whole blend. So I'm gonna just calculate how much belly I'm gonna need after that and then grind that as well. I'm gonna keep it really straightforward today. Nothing complicated, but it's gonna taste so good. And the meat, I'm actually gonna grind first through the, the bigger whole plate. And when we do the, the bellies, we're gonna do that through the smaller one. What we're going to do now, we're going to weigh out all the spices, the water, the bourbon, the maple syrup. We're going to weigh all that out and then start adding it, mixing it. But we're also, after it's all mixed, I'm going to regrind this all through the fine plate because I want this breakfast sausage to be a fine consistency, but still with some particles. So let's go. When I weigh spices, and all the ingredients, I like to weigh them out separately just that I always keep control and make sure I don't miss anything, especially the salt. So we're gonna take our dish, tear that, make sure, yep. I like to weigh it out separately, just, it's a good thing to practice. And I'm just using uh, regular sea salt for this. I don't need any cure in this. I don't want it in that. I don't want them to turn pink. And I will put everything listed below in the description that I'm doing. So I'm not gonna waste your time and rattle it off here. I'll just show you quickly. Salt. And, and now we are actually gonna use real maple syrup and real bourbon. Just gonna weigh that out now. I always like to add the salt first. And it really doesn't matter, we're just gonna add everything Give it a quick mix and then grind it. I like double grinding it because it really gets everything blended in well. Uh, a lot better usually than you can do by hand. Boop. So before any of the liquid part, I'm just gonna give this a nice mix. Gonna add the water. And it might look like a lot, but by adding that salt and giving that mixing, you open up the proteins and that actually, the meat sucks in the, the moisture. Get all that in there. You'll see, uh, just let me give it a quick mix here. Now, this part's gonna take a little bit longer when I take, it's just because this is a smaller grinder. I'm gonna have to grind this, but it's gonna take a little bit. So uh, be patient and I'll be right back. Okay, we got it back in the bowl here. I'm just gonna give it another quick mix. 
The one thing I forgot to mention was the the sautéed onions. I did them last night because I didn't. I wanted to save time today and uh, stuff like that. If you can do it ahead of time, do it. And I could have just thrown in diced onions, but why not take that part and add more flavor to it? I think sautéing them. Yes, it's an extra step but it's gonna add so much flavor to this whole thing. Mm. We're just gonna get this put together and uh, start filling. But uh, today I'm actually using a collagen casing to replicate a breakfast sausage. So uh, I'm excited, I love doing this stuff. Here we go to the fun part. There's no good way to film this. Just rest you on there. going to fill it by hand, try and get it as much air out as we can. And at this point, if you didn't want to make just sausages, take this and weigh it out and make some patties and have some breakfast patties. I think that's what I'm going to do as well. Save some because I got lots here. Put the guard down so it doesn't fall out. And you hear the air escaping. There we go. And we have some sausage coming up. There we go. Collagen does not get wet first. Once you get it wet, it's a pain in the butt. So everything right now is dry. Once it gets wet from the sausage, it's okay. And, but it's very hard to twist by hand, so I'm just going to stuff it out long and then take scissors and cut them into chubs that way. Go. And I'm using my hand to create some back pressure to fill the casing nicely. It is hard to do because it's coming through such a small horn. But anyways, that's what we're doing. Making sausage. Beautiful. And now all I'm going to do is take a kitchen scissors and they're not going to be the exact same length. I'm just going by eye. But I'm just going to cut them like this. And what I'm going to do though, because they're very soft, if you were to vacuum pack them like this, they're just going to go flat. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them out on a tray like this. Even if they touch, that's okay. I'm going to throw them in the freezer for a couple hours, let them set up, get it hard, and then vacuum pack them. But right now, we're going to fry a few up and taste them. I'm, oh. Okay, I just wanted to show you. I got one tray filled, cut, and I got these to do. I'm going to do those, but these are going to go in the freezer. And I've got these ones here, and... Uh, we're gonna fry them up, so hang on. Okay, that. And we're gonna get these guys in. They're almost done, got some nice color on them. You gotta be careful. Because of the uh, maple syrup in there, there's a lot of sugar. So if you do it too hot, they will burn. Ah, smells so good though. They look great, they smell great. Got some nice color on them. Nice and juicy. That's good. Sweet, salty. Do that with some uh, hash browns, some eggs. Your favorite coffee. Mm, that's so good. 
for me, these turned out great. They taste great. You get that salty sweet uh, from the maple and the bourbon. You, you can taste a little bit of the bourbon there too in the background. These turned out really good. You gotta try them. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like, subscribe, leave me some comments, and uh, see you soon, and happy eating.